So let's move on to pulmonary diseases. In this case, let's talk about COPD. What are my five COPDs? There is five. What are my five COPDs? So emphysema is one of them. That's the most popular. I have chronic bronchitis. That's one. Not bronchitis. It has to be chronic bronchitis. Acute bronchitis is not chronic bronchitis. Asthma. Very good, Barbara. Excellent. So we have asthma. Okay. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. Okay. We have asthma, chronic bronchitis, cystic fibrosis. I told you guys you're smart. I love you guys. All right. We have emphysema. What's that last one? It's a hard one to spell, so it's, it's called bronchiectasis. Five types. You know what COPD really is? You know what it really, really is? Instead of saying, oh, it's chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, well, that's the definition of the acronym, but what exactly is it? Like, what is it? What does it do? What is it going to do for you? What's going to happen tomorrow? So in a way of saying, you know what COPD really is? Is do me a favor, okay? Breathe in as deep as you can. Go ahead. Exhale. People that have COPD, half of that comes out. That's it. An easy way to understand what COPD is, you breathe in a gallon of air, you're only getting rid of half a gallon of air in a sense. Uh, the other half a gallon is trapped in your lungs, slowly coming out. So there is an obstruction somewhere in your lungs. Could be inflammation, could be a disease, could be a lung collapse, could be all sorts of things. But in this case, we're talking about COPD. So COPD, of course, is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. But if you really want to understand a layman's way to understand what COPD is, it's just where there's an obstruction that prevents me from exhaling all the way out. Okay, and overall in time it tends to get it gets worse as it's a it's a progressive disease. Okay, there is no cure to COPD, but understand that at HRN and uh, now we're finding out with uh, that there's more more clinicians doing a better job at the research. They're finding out there's more fixes, not cures, fixes. So people that are obstructed, we we found that we can increase lung functions. That also means that. If it increased a little bit, it can increase more. All right, so the structure of the alveoli is you have, um, so you have an alpha cell. Uh, if you ever heard of alpha-1 antitrypsin uh, deficiency syndrome, that's where the alpha-1 is kind of not there or vacant. From there, it's just very little. And then you have a phagocytotic cell, which is a white blood cell that stays dormant inside an alveolar wall. Its job is to secrete trypsin. It's an acid. Think of it, the acid as bullets. Anything that comes in that's foreign that might be harmful to my home, I'm going to shoot at it with acid. So that's what the cell does, but it's blind. It doesn't know it's killing the alpha-1. It doesn't even know that the alphas down here, that their job is. So the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the white blood cell, its job is to kill every foreign thing that could be potentially harmful to me. Look at it that way, okay? So it secretes acid. It like secretes acid, acid, which is called trypsin. Uh, it's T-R-Y-P-S-I-O-N, uh, uh, S-I-N, sorry. So trypsin. The, so you have acid. How, how do we neutralize acid? Bicarbonate. You add bicarbonate to it to, so it's not acidic anymore. Now it's alkalytic. So the, that's what the bases do. That's what the alpha-1s do is they neutralize the acid. Because there's a lack of alpha-1s in there, the cell wall starts getting eaten away until you're left with a big, huge hole. And you look at a chest x-ray, and they see this big, huge hole in there. And that's what emphysema is. So usually, you know, like let's say... I breathe in, and let's say I breathe in a little bit of pollen. Let me pretend I'm on the, uh, the, uh, the, the blood cell, the white blood cell, okay? And I see something, I'm like, oh, a little bit of pollen? Well, I'll just square a little bit of trypsin. But let's say I see smoke inhalation, pollution, household cleaners, dust pollen, whatever. I'm going to overreact. I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is horrible for me. It's going to kill my home. I need to live. So I'm going to squirt, 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 squirt. I'm overreacting. I'm squirt, 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 so much trypsin that it just kills and eats away the cell wall of the alveoli and left with one alveoli, when in that spot I'm supposed to have 300,000. You know? That's what emphysema is.